Hello, I'm Elian St. Hilaire, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the newly added Web Power Switch support in Mesh Central. So Mesh Central has been doing remote computing or remote management of computers for a while, but um, now a couple of th things have been added. One is IPKVM support, so you can remotely control a computer that doesn't have an agent on it. And another thing we just added is web power switch support. And hopefully this will be one of many more devices we add in the future. So I have this device over here. And uh, I believe you can go to webpowerswitch.com and get one. Uh, now, of course, in the future, the intention is to add many more uh, different models from different vendors, but this is the first one we have. And so what it is, is just something you plug to the wall. You have uh, different outlets here. There are two of them that are always on and then eight of them that are remotely controlled. Uh, I have a light bulb plugged in one of them right now. Now what's really unique about this device is that it can be controlled over ethernet. So you can see the ethernet port right here or over Wi-Fi. So you don't need any extra ethernet cables cluttering your server room. You mount this on the wall and uh, you plug your devices here and you set up using Wi-Fi. Now it has a LCD display so you can take a look at what the IP address of the device is and you can uh, use these buttons here to manually turn on and off the plugs from the device itself. Now I'm going to put this on the side here and show off how we added support on Mesh Central for this. So let's take a look at um, a few slides first. So Mesh Central, when you uh, turn on IPKVM support, it will also turn on support for the web power switch, and then you can plug devices and turn them on and off through Mesh Central. Now, what's interesting about the recently added feature on Mesh Central here is that normally you would have a device um, connect to Mesh Central and show up on the screen. But we recently added this device group manager that can you can create a device group that is not backed by any of these devices. It's backed by some custom you know, thing like an IPKVM device or a power plug or something like that. So now you're basically making devices show up on Mesh Central that, um, that are controlled you know, through this manager to some physical hardware or something like that. Now, in the case of Web Power Switch, once you turn on uh, the feature IPKVM on, then uh, you can create a new device group. You select IPKVM Power Device. You select the model you want, and in this case, it's the Web Power Switch 7. And then you type in the host name, username, and password of the switch, and it will get added uh, almost instantly with the current states of all the plugs. And you can turn them on and off from the site. And of course. There is uh, power tracking, <clears throat> so the, you'll see the last seven days uh, for each plug, for each outlet, what the state was. You can assign uh, permissions, rights to a specific plug for, uh, for individual users. So, <clears throat> sorry, uh, each plug can be assigned to per permissions separately. So you can grant plug number three, um, rights to some somebody and so on. It works on the mobile website and also there's uh, in the event log you'll see when the, the plugs turn on and off and things like that. So that's the basics of it. So I have my trusty uh, test server right here and I've done many demos with this already. So obviously I can just click on the device here and take control of it and it works just fine. But what I'm going to go is go back to the devices view, click add device group. And here there's a fourth type called IPKVM power device. So I'm going to click on that. And then you can select a model of device you want to connect to. I'm going to do web power switch. My host name is this host name right here. This, this is my IP address. By default, it goes to port 443. So it, it is uh, Mesh Central will access the switch through the encrypted port. but um, but you can specify a port to overwrite that if you want to, if you've changed it in the device. And then uh, my password, here I have a very simple password. And then for the name, I'll put web switch. 
as my name here, for example. It can be anything you want. And then I will click OK. And you'll see the web switch pop up. And almost immediately, Mesh Central will create the device group and pull the switch, get the state of the uh, outlets. And you can see all the outlets here. All eight of them are off. And the uh, outlet names will be pulled from the device itself. So you can, of course, click on a device, uh, on an outlet, and change the name. So this could be a test device. And you say OK. Now, it will still tell you what the original outlet name on the device is. And if you change that on the device, it will update here. And then you also always see the uh, port number right there. So that's very nice. And you can always change the uh, icon here. So if you, if you know you have uh, a desktop connected, you can, you can change that. And you can see here, test device is right there. But in reality, that's port number one. So of course, um, I have a light bulb connected on port number eight. So you should be able to see it in the back right here. Let's see, I, I write that, I have it. So I'm gonna go turn on, click OK, and there it goes, light bulb just turned on, and turn off, right? So it's very, very rapid. And also what you'll notice is that, not only that, but the it says power switch is currently powered. If you say off, it goes to off. Um, now, what happens is that Mesh Central pulls this device every 10 seconds to get the, the, the current state of all the, the outlets. So, but if you do change the state, then it pulls immediately. And so that's why you see the, the state change right away. But I can go on the device itself. And let's see, I'm, I have uh, outlet four and currently selected on my screen here. And so it is right there. And I'm going to hit the on button. And within 10 seconds, you should see, there it goes, powered on. And then if I hit the off button on the button on the device, then within 10 seconds, it should go back to off. There it goes. Perfect. So uh, one last thing I want to do is I want to show you what the web page on this particular device looks like. So I'm going to go to the IP address. I've already logged in here. And my session expires in eight minutes. But this is the built-in web page of the device, what, what it kind of looks like. Uh, you'll see outlet control. Obviously, I can switch an outlet here. So I'll, I'll switch uh, number two to on. And then number two here, the next time my central pulls it, there it goes, it goes to powered. Uh, so it doesn't matter how you turn it on from the, phys the physical device, from the website, or from uh, other software. Mesh Central will track it. Uh, and you have the setup. You can name the outlets the way you want. And um, probably the most important is the networking, where you can set up your, um, your network uh, password and so on. Uh, Wi-Fi. So by d normally what you do is you connect using Ethernet first, you set up your Wi-Fi, and then you disconnect Ethernet. So anyway, so that's a quick view of the web power switch support in Mesh Central. Hope you liked it. And hopefully in the future, we'll have many more devices like that supported right into Mesh Central. Thank you.